Welcome to a brief introduction on how to create a dinosaur. So using bioinformatics, we're going to find out if this whole Jurassic Park thing is even possible. So why are we doing this? Now seriously, why would we want to create these radical killing machines? Well, power and destruction. Dinosaurs are probably crazy fast and dangerous. You can use your horde of dinosaurs to eliminate your mortal enemies. But if you don't have dinosaurs in the post-apocalyptic dinosaur world, you're going to be snapped up faster than an Azelle's famous fried chicken wing. Friends? With your dinosaur posse, you're going to have so many more friends who want to hang with you. Without dinosaurs, you're going to be lame and no one will ever love you. Achievement. Be the first to create a dinosaur you'll be richer than you could possibly imagine. Or don't, and you'll be forgotten as that one person that didn't create dinosaurs. So now that we have some motivation for creating dinosaurs, how would we actually do this? Well, Jurassic Park's amber DNA extraction is a complete myth. So researchers have estimated that the half-life of DNA, the point at which half the bonds in DNA molecule backbone would be broken, is 521 years. That means that under ideal conditions, DNA would last only about 6.8 million years, after which all the bonds would be broken. But the difficulty there is that dinosaurs last walked the Earth 65 million years ago, so all of the DNA has already been degraded. There's no way we're going to be able to get it out of the mosquito, even if it's in amber. In fact, often what happens is the DNA degrades from the inside out, so the internal side of the mosquito is going to degrade faster. So then how do we do this? There has to be a better way. So genomic studies, bioinformatics, can elucidate the pathway to creating a hypothetical dinosaur. And what do we know is that chickens evolved from dinosaurs. Actually, all av avioids and all birds did. So let's take a chicken. I'll show you how one could de-evolve a chicken back into a dinosaur. So module one is going to be decoding the chicken. Let's an analyze the chicken and a few other animal genomes to find genes of interest for our new dinosaurs. Module two, let's assemble our dinosaur. Now that we have the specific genes you would need, let's add them together to make a dinosaur. I'll show you the exact steps you would take if you wanted to make this actually happen. Module three, we're gonna create a 3D render of your dino. You'll leave with the exact DNA sequence for the dinosaur you created, a t-shirt of your 3D rendered dino, and a dino creator bragging rights. So, to recap, what you get, uh, you get an intro to bioinformatics, we're going to use Python for this. It's a programming language. You don't need to have any prior experience in Python. You're going to get DNA knowledge. You're going to understand more about the genome. And you're going to get to create your hypothetical dinosaur, or as we like to call it, Chickensaurus. So what you're going to need to bring, though, is a laptop. <clears throat> and you're going to need to install some free software. So Python and 3D Mesh, Mesh Mixer are both free, and they're going to be used in this class in order to make this happen. So go to hivebio.com dot org forward slash class dash registration for the install links and all the information you're going to need about this class. So we got two coming up. Uh, join us at Ada's Cafe on August 26th. That's uh, Ada's Cafe and Technical Books. And also at Hive Bio on September 5th. We're going to be doing this. So uh, love to see you there. Talk soon. Bye.